Creativity is an addiction. You have got to make sure that you understand what kind of an addiction it is. You've got to feed the addiction or you're going to implode. You've got to listen to the addiction or you're going to go crazy. You've got to set it aside when it doesn't need to be heard. But at the same time, you've got to pick it up when the world needs to change. And this is one of those moments. You need to show up. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I call it stream thinking because I believe in the power of now. Learning how to trust free form writing. I challenge myself every day. One page. Ten minutes only. No editing with plenty of time to talk about it in the end. Stream thinking, allowing yourself to be in that moment of now, because I believe our best decisions are made right now. And the way that you can strengthen that is you got to work that muscle. You've got to own your own leadership, the power of now. My entire childhood, my mother endlessly told each and every one of our kids, you better mind your own business to do whatever it takes to keep our noses away from other people's situations. Well, in 2021, everybody wants to get into your business they act as if it belongs to them and if the information isn't shared you know what happens they make up their own stories but you know you know who's more guilty of this we are i mean look at what we're doing on social media we're getting into other people's business with our posts and pictures and advertisers are loving this because we have become the generation of influencers the drama that you and i provide for free on facebook twitter and instagram It feeds into our need to know. We're addicted to other people's bad days and good times. We can't mind our own business if you're showing your business right there in front of us. I've always believed in what Gene Simmons said. If you want something to be bigger than life, then make it in your heart bigger than life. Otherwise, nobody's going to show up. Mind your own business. What about the business in your heart? What happens if your personal beliefs versus everybody else's beliefs don't don't go together? Minding your own business, does that mean that you become inward and you stay what I call a hider writer? In other words, everything that you want to think, everything that you want to do, you hide from the rest of the world? See, I always thought that bias means that we can have opposite opinions and still love each other. I always thought that having a best friend meant we're going to fight. And even with with a marriage, we're going to have a disagreement and we're going to figure out how to work things out so every side is equal or somewhat equal. Mind your own business. What does that mean in 2021? And if you're listening to this in 2025, send a letter back into your past and say, dude, this is where you were going wrong. I'm not you know, going to mind my own business. I'm just going to tell you Your, your thoughts of minding your own business was a total disconnection. I'm Arrow, and that's Stream Thinking.